Hey everyone, it's David. Today we're going to be planting a cactus garden. It's getting pretty hot in my area, so I want to get these cactuses out of their pots and into the ground. I actually stepped over into a shady spot for a second here so that the sun is not glaring into my eyes. So let's go take a walk over to the area that we will be planting the cactuses. You may remember this area if you saw my front garden tour videos from earlier this spring. It's by the pathway that leads up to my front door. Over here, on the other side of the pathway, is where I'll be planting the cactus garden today. I have this big blank spot that is in desperate need of some plantscaping. You can see I already have an assortment of cactus waiting to be planted. Some of these have been waiting here for months. I also have a few more cactus for my potted cactus collection I plan on adding here as well. I'll show you the area when I'm done and go over a few reasons why I think this particular area will make a good cactus bed. Okay, let's get started. And here it is, a new outdoor cactus garden. I put off planting this area for far too long. Part of my problem is that I want to do everything all at once instead of breaking up projects into smaller tasks. I still, for instance, want to get more boulders and contrast plants for this bed, but sometimes you just need to jump into a project and get started somewhere, anywhere. What really motivated me to get this started is that I saw in the weather forecast that it was calling for 100 degrees in a couple days. And most of the cactus I had been collecting for this bed were still in thin plastic pots. So I wanted to get them in the ground to protect their roots. There are a few reasons I thought this area would make a good cactus bed. This is on the south wall, so it gets more sun than any other direction. The wall and window also cause quite a bit of reflected light and heat so I had to be sure to choose plants that could handle this. Also, the roof has eaves that will block some of the rain and provide a bit of protection in the winter. It tends to be both a bit colder and wetter here than cactus like during the winter, so choosing the driest and warmest microclimates to place my cactus should help them to flourish. And that's going to be it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.